Yankees in their offense. Agashioka had the two-run home run. In the meantime, there's a lot to digest. Let's get it back to the booth. Ryan and Cameron right now. Well, thanks a lot, Bob. Cam, this series, it felt like things were going to turn. The Yankees win the opener 9-4. On the day they had a team meeting, got a really good start from Jamison Tyone. Then yesterday, they get a great one from Garrett Cole. Couldn't break through. Nestor Cortez, outstanding today. Again, not enough support. And it sort of feels like a continuation of what's been a theme now for quite a few weeks, just not being able to get every element of the team and of the game in sync on the same day. Yeah, it seems to be things that happen throughout the game that you really like. You, you like how Jameson Tyone came out. You like how Garrett Cole came out and gave the team a chance. And then Nestor came out. He had a great pace. He had a great rhythm. I mean, really just taking the bats out of the Mariners' hands, but just not able to finish once again. And that's been the problem. It seems like you know, they can't get everything to click on all cylinders like they were in the first half. And this bullpen right now really kind of starting to worry me a little bit, trying to find guys who can come in and get out some big situations. Yeah, there's been issues with the bullpen. Obviously, no Michael King anymore was a huge part. Clay Holmes' recent struggles, although last night was encouraging on that front. And then you also have to wonder about Ron Marinaccio. I know the Yankees were in a pickle here recently because Marinaccio had options and he could go back down. But this is the kind of game where you're like, wow, I'd really like to have that guy out in the pen right now it feels like it's going to take some maneuvering for Aaron Boone to figure out well what does his pen look like in tight games yeah like? absolutely and, and we say there's a lot of time left in the game but you know this season it gets late really quick in, in the course of a season especially when you're trying to find guys that you can rely on and go to and Marinaccio has been a guy who I thought was extremely good uh, extremely consistent giving the Yankees some really good innings pitching in some real high leverage situations so Aaron Boone and Matt Blake they're going to have to go to the drawing board and figure out who they can rely and trust on when it comes to the seventh eighth and ninth inning guys that they know they can hand the ball over to and guys that can come in and shut the door down all right games like yesterday games like today when the Yankees are facing really quality pitching how much does this lineup miss John Carlos Stanton right uh, now oh it misses him a tremendous amount you know it's one thing to get results but a guy like John Carlos Stanton when he's in the lineup what he does from a a, a, a present standpoint for that lineup you know when you look at that lineup and you see him in there it automatically makes it that much too difficult to pitch to. You know, it's mentally draining when you have to pitch to him. And then as you get to the bottom of the lineup, it helps those guys as well. So you're really missing his presence along with his damage and, and the results that he's been able to put up this year. So the Yankees are going to head to Boston. Obviously, Fenway Park always charges up the Yankees. But Cam, I mean, with the off day, how difficult is it to get your mind back to the place that this team was at for the first three months of the season right now what's going through the minds of these guys as they you know continue to sort of linger in what's been a struggle now for more than a month well you know a couple good things are happening you know they got off to a really good start you always want to get off to a good start because when you hit these moments it gives you a little breathing room and for the Yankees you know I'll continue to say it yes you want to see them finish off games but you know, being in this situation before, you also want to go through these moments. You want to have these moments where you have to figure out, you know, who are your guys, who's going to be able to compete and step up in the adverse moments. And right now, they're finding that out. But this is a confident group. They're going to uh, get on that plane ride. They're going to take advantage of this day and come back out ready to fight and ready to get back on track against the Boston team. But they fared quite good against this season. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing that matchup on Friday on ES here in Seattle for the first time in a very long time, guys. The Yankees drop a series to the Mariners.